I couldn't help but notice that in your new lovely book, um, it started here, like after you it were did. here. We were right over yeah. there cooking, I know. making a crab and cheesy Which dip. Which I don't cook well, but I love you that You made it that great there. dip. Oh, yeah, because of you. <laughs> like, yeah. And then, oh yes, there we are. Yeah. And then I, I took the leftovers because I always you know, have stuff at home too because I'm yeah. always practicing before I do it. And I took it over to Wolfie's house and that's when Ed came by and it all starts the whole story of this, this reconnection that Ed and I had in the last few years of his life. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, was, that must have been hard. I know, because I've gone through a divorce, still going through a divorce, and it's like, it's, it feels, it's, it's a weird thing, but it feels like a death. Like, yeah. it feels like such a loss, like divorce in general. And yeah. then to lose him again, that must have been really hard. Yeah, it sucks. Because it's your, it's your kid's father, too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but there was something, uh, and I know so many people get mad at me when I say that there was a love that Ed and I had that no one really can... And it's, but it's true. I mean, I don't know. Why how do they say, get mad about that? That's uh, a beautiful thing. Because we were both married to other people. But it wasn't, it was nothing sexual. It was nothing. It was just, I've known the guy since I was 20 years old. I was a yeah. baby. And he was just my life for a very long time. So I'm a little uncomfortable talking about it, but I'm not because there's nothing to be ashamed of when you love somebody. Yeah. Love is love. I think there's room to love a lot of people. And Absolutely. there are different types of love. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh. And it turned into like a brother, sister, and I care about him so much. Still do. Still yeah. do. Why did you call the book Enough Already? And it's, it, I love that, learning to love the way I am today. Mm, because I, I'm done. I'm just done judging myself. I'm done with all the negative talk that I give to myself because there's enough negative talk out there. It's just yeah. enough already. Enough. Enough getting on the scale. Enough saying horrible things about myself. Yeah. And just changing the perspective and changing the, the view and the yeah. narrative. Thank you. And yeah. also, I am enough. I'm enough. Yeah, and it's, it's, so, it's enough. It's so interesting because from an outsider's perspective and just even having the one lunch we got to share, like it was like, I literally remember leaving and telling Ashley, I was like, Man, she is such a light. She's so kind. She's so normal. You are so cool. Like, rarely... I thought the same I, thing about you. Well, what's <laughs> funny is rarely do you meet people like... And I don't really... like. You business. know, we're always working and busy and busy, and rarely do I really find that. And, and so it's so... I had advice actually given to me for 2020... Too. Um, and it was like, treat yourself how you treat other, or no, how, yes, treat yourself how you treat others. And mm -hmm. it's like, because I feel like we are kind to people a lot, often more than to ourselves. Yes, Which is so crappy. Right. And yeah. it's not Why okay. do we do that? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I mean, it's just, I learned from a very, very, very young age by, you know, just the way you watch and the way you see the way people treat each other, that you, it's just the certain things that you're allowed to say and not allowed to say and not allowed to feel. And, and I, I, I learned at a young age that, that gaining weight was unlovable, made me unlovable. Wow. Uh, it, so I, I'm still trying to purge that out of my system because it's not, that's not true. It's just a lie. No, yeah, that's, oh my gosh, that's so sad. I think that's a thing in the South that's said a lot too. I don't know everywhere. if it's everywhere. All but over yeah, the world. It's definitely in the yeah. South. But I also, I think what I am glad about is I think so many things happened to me when I was young about my weight that I think, like even at a young age, like so many things get said that I think that's whenever I was just like, whatever, I'm not going to please anyone. <gasps> God bless like, you. Like I think I was lucky it happened because it, before I got in the industry because it was like, because in the industry, you're talking about your son being in the industry, it's very hard, mm -hmm. even for men. Yes. Even for men. Yes. To look a certain way mm -hmm. and do with certain things and it's, and it's just such a silly thing and I love, I love the title Thank enough you. already because it's very, um, welcoming to so many people that have the same fight within themselves that Thank they're you. trying to overcome. It's, yeah. it's hard when you learn as a little girl and then trying to get it's that out. So for that. you to break that a, as a little girl yeah. is something to be really proud of. It took me a long time. I mean, I watched my mom not get loved by my dad when she would gain weight. I had oh, an, an elementary school teacher point at my belly and say, you better watch that. And I didn't even realize I had a body before that. Like I had no awareness of what I looked like. It was just like, let's have fun. And then all of a sudden oh. I was like, oh, I'm supposed to look a certain way. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, oh, that's not okay. Yeah, no, you gotta be so careful with what you say in front of the you little really ones do. sponges.